I guarantee you they took thousands of pictures of her that looked way better than this. It's just weird. But again, I think companies <clears throat> are trying to do the best they can when it comes to Sports Illustrated. They're trying to get people to talk about it. And they did a good job because we're did. sitting here talking yeah. about it. And so is everybody else. Yeah. One thing I did want to break down, though, um, was just that the fact that I guarantee you. breakdown. Yeah. I've been a photographer for many, many years. I'll Actually, I'll go full screen on this. And then actually, let me break down the other images first. So of Ciara, uh, who is, I mean, naturally, she's. it's going to be hard to take a bad picture of her. Yeah. But what are they doing? So real quick, there's a shift in her uh, foot placement. So it's going to put more weight on her front foot, which is yes, closest to the did. camera. Oh, I'm sorry. And that's, and that's going to put a bigger <laughs> curve in her butt. <laughs> yes, it did. But then also, they have her turned completely sideways. So her butt's going to look twice the size of her whole body because she's like, you know, like I said, she's, she's very thin, but they put her sideways. So it makes her look even better. Uh, not not a fan of the hand there, but of course the uh, the chin turn and everything that all looks freaking incredible. Uh, Kim Kardashian is going to be really hard to take a bad picture of her. But again, we'll look at the foot placement, like heavy offset here. So that's going to create an amazing curve right there. Uh, the back is arched really hard. So that's going to make her butt look even bigger and make her stomach look even smaller. The arms come down as like a triangle. So it's going to make her look a little more slimming. Also going to make her boobs look bigger because they're going to be pushed out and she's a fucking dime piece. So <clears throat> I think something's changed too. Like if you go back to her photo, <clears throat> I think there's been some kind of small changes over the years. Like see how she kind of has like a crease there mm, yeah. in the leg. They would have edited going. that out in I the think, past. I think, yeah, in the past they would have gotten rid of that. But now I think that's... Uh, uh, more desirable in a way, like you know, showing that you got some like kind of meat back yeah, there. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of that crease, by the way. Yeah, it's attractive. <laughs> Same. Yeah. But that's the thing. Again, the way the way people look at attraction in mainstream media is different. That ideal body mm. is curvier now than it was in the yeah. '90s, '80s, '70s. So they're 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 eating with it's it. It definitely mm -hmm. has it definitely has changed. But it's uh, what I mentioned to you guys um, in an audio message back and forth was like, it's kind of interesting that we still haven't landed on like someone being like muscular. Like we still don't see that. Obviously from the men's side, we mm -hmm. see that. Yes. We still don't see that from the women. Yeah. Like, dude, imagine the fucking controversy that would hit. It would be a crazy shit storm of stuff that would happen if you put like Brooke Entz on mm -hmm. the cover of Sports Illustrated. Yeah. You know, people would be like, she looks like a man. And you'd get all these people saying all these wild, crazy things. Uh -huh. yeah. Or even or even like a Brooke Wells who has a, a softer look, mm -hmm. but is still jacked as fuck and has abs. Yeah. It's just, we, I don't, we just haven't gotten there yet. Like people are still really, I don't know if they're like uh, intimidated or what the deal is, or if they just real, literally think it's like, again, I think sometimes that men and women don't understand, like a guy might say, I don't want a muscular woman. But then you say um, you don't until you have one. Yeah, <laughs> or, yeah, or until someone's in front of you where you're like, "Wow, that looks incredible." Because there's different versions of it, right? There's different versions. Like maybe you don't want a girl that has like a giant neck and giant traps and forearms and stuff. Maybe, maybe, right? <clears throat> but they don't. What a lot of women that train hard don't end up really looking like that. They yeah, most women that train hard don't aren't like like jack jack jack. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it, it takes. A lifetime. It, it takes a lot to look jack, jack, jacked. But, you know, it, it is funny. You bring up Brooke Ants, Brooke Wells, um, a lot of these more muscular women that look amazing. But in that comment section, um, because, and this, it's an interesting thing. It would get crazy backlash if it was mainstream. But even within their comment section, these are people that pay attention to fitness. Mm -hmm. They pay attention to CrossFit. They pay attention to <clears throat> powerlifting, whatever. And even a lot of the men within these audiences are like, she's, she's on drugs or she's too <laughs> jacked or uh, she looks like a man. These are guys who pay attention to fitness shit. Now think about the general population who doesn't. Uh -huh. Like they're used to seeing just like these type of covers, watching TV. Mm -hmm. They don't see very fit, fit women. Dude, the backlash that that would get would be insane. It would be what we see in our little fitness bubble times a fucking hundred. Yeah. So then uh, let's see. Let me, oops, actually I'll do it this way. Moving on to, this is Elon Musk's mom. Is it really her, his mom? It is. Wow. It is his mother, yeah. Okay. Power Project family, how's it going? I want to tell you guys about the legendary Tasty Pastry. And we've talked about Ben and Jerry's and snacks and stuff on the podcast. But those can go against your goals. They can be too calorically dense. And they can really make you crave more bad foods. But the crazy, the crazy thing about the legendary Tasty Pastry is that it's 20 
grams of protein and five grams of net carbs and 180 calories. And they taste amazing. You guys need to check them out. They have tons of flavors. Andrew, how can they get it? Yeah. And the other thing, they pass the kid test. Kids love these things as mm. well. Head over to eatlegendary.com and at checkout, enter promo code power project to save 20% off all the tasty pastries, all the nut butters, all the almonds, everything. Again, eatlegendary.com. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. Let's get back to the podcast. Okay, something I want you guys to pay attention to. You see how the arm placement, uh, we like patterns. So these are triangles, but also what these do is they make the, uh, the, the midsection look even smaller because mm -hmm. you have all this dead space right here. Uh, and that's going to make her look slimmer. And then also they have her leaned up against something. Uh, it's People think it's just there for an ornament, but it's. I guarantee you, this is meant to cover something that we didn't want to see in here. Ah, uh, and you also probably get a chance to shave. Yeah, and then also even just <laughs> leaning. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that was good. That was good. <laughs> leaning up they against put the something. Bush there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was better. That was better. <laughs> leaning up against something. Uh, as an older uh, white lady, she might not have a lot of junk in the trunk, so that's going to help push some of that mm. out. Uh, let, let me go to this picture before I go to the main picture. Oh. So she's gorgeous. She's a bigger, uh, like full figure woman. I think that's what they call them. But notice, uh, butt way back out. Uh, again, hard arch, the exact same pose as Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. Like we, there's kind of almost like a script. Once you nail one pose down, you can kind of get it down for just about anybody. Yeah. Notice the arms cover the slightly bigger belly than what we were used to in a swimsuit model. Uh, but yeah, so amazing job there. And that was 2016. 2016. So not that long ago. Yeah. And then let's go to, what's her name? I refer you for Yumi Nu. Yumi Nu. Okay. Now. I guarantee you they took thousands of pictures of her that looked way better than this. She's so pretty that like it'd be very hard to take a bad picture. Mm -hmm. They didn't take the be they didn't select the best picture for this cover and I think they did that show on purpose to yeah. emphasize some of the things that well, that they were going for. I also want to say when you and Mark were mentioning this pre-podcast, mm -hmm. I was like, dog, wait, what are you guys talking about? I didn't get it. But as you explain, I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Right. So we'll start again from the feet because that's usually where a pose will start. Her legs aren't that quite shifted. They're not that like the right foot's a little bit forward, but not that far forward. So that doesn't create much of a uh, of a like roundness over here on this side to try to emphasize a woman's figure. Mm -hmm. uh, hand placement. So remember on the last one where the arms were way out. Yeah. So this now makes her hips go from right here all the way to over here past her elbow. Okay, so like that just mushes all into one thing. The uh, the bathing suit, the this swoop here, this swoop here is going to just make it seem like her boobs go from here all the way down to here. Same with that side. Mm -hmm. That's not a good selection there. Uh, her chin, I would have liked it to be a little bit taller and higher. Mm -hmm. So that way it just makes her jawline look even more sharp. Um also, like the camera could have been even higher. You see, like when chicks do selfies, they go up from up top yeah. because it hides a lot of stuff. Um, so again, I think that they chose an image that was um, that just highlighted some of the things. Oh, and then the other main thing too is uh, this bathing suit right here. Like this is such an easy Photoshop job if they wanted to. And they do Photoshop. Like let's not like let's yeah. Be, they used to Photoshop a lot of stuff. They deal. They still do Photoshop shit, yeah, yeah. and they chose not to. Which I mean. I think is good. In yeah, a way. no, I think so too. But yeah. like they could have picked a different bathing suit that doesn't have this gigantic front panel and that hugs her, uh, her hips right here. That also <laughs> emphasizes this uh, little extra, I'll say it's a little roll right there. Um, yeah, it's fine. But, but again, like there's a lot of stuff here, like same with all this here. Um, although I'm a fan of it, they could have easily Photoshopped some of that out. And again, like just the hand placement's freaking terrible. Kind of looks like image. it's in between like poses and stuff yes. too. Yes, yeah, that's a good good way to put it. It looked, yeah. So I just like I said, there, there's a lot that they could have done to to better this image. Like even just her foot placement would have helped a ton. But I think they were going for an image that's going to emphasize like, hey. She's a full figure model. Look at us. Guys, we're working hard over here trying to learn, trying to bring our information to you, and we need your help. A lot of you guys watching these bites aren't subscribed, so just click that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can see when we continue to come out with this heat. Talk to y'all later.